ഫേസസ് ഹീലിംഗ്സ് ഇൻ സിക്സ് ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് ലൈഫ് ബോഡി മൈൻഡ് സോൾ ഫാമിലി ഫൈനാൻസസ് ആൻഡ് ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് ഡിമോണിക് അഫ്ലിക്ഷൻ ദി സിക്സ് ഏരിയാസ് ആർ ബീങ് ബ്ലസ്ഡ് ബുക്ക് ഓഫ് ജോബ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഫൈവ് വാസ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ദെർ ആർ ഓൺലി സിക്സ് ഏരിയാസ് വി ഹാവ് എ ഡിഫിക്കൽറ്റീസ് and uh, these six areas are going to be healed and touched by the lord seven problem seventh problem or seventh area we will not have it he will deliver you from six troubles some of you have a trouble in body some of you have troubles in your family some others have troubles in the mind these are six troubles some of you are troubled by devil and demons and some of you are troubled by your bad finances so book of job chapter 5 19 says god will deliver us is a promise god deliver us from six troubles in our life so i welcome to enjoy this deliverance that the lord gives us in six areas of our life as bible says today we have a wonderful promise the promise word is taken from prophecy of isaiah 26 verse 12 god will give you peace that is the first promise i'll give you peace then there are certain areas you have difficulty to do some work or something i will do your work because we are children of god so god will do our work so let us read together the promise word o oh lord o oh lord you will ordain you will ordain peace for us peace for us for indeed for indeed all that we have done all that we have done you have done for us you have done for us so whatever we supposed to do we have always disabilities and also inabilities imperfections sins bondages we all have in our difficulties and in our deficiencies this the promise word says god will do it god will do certain works for us then if we are lost of our peace surely god will give us peace Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us seek the intercession of Mother Mary. Luke chapter 2 verse 16. Let us worship Jesus together with Mary and Joseph. So we look to Jesus and with Mary and Joseph and angels and saints. Let us worship Jesus. when we worship him when we worship jesus exodus 23 25 will be fulfilled the fruit of the worship is sufficiency water and food i will bless you our food i bless your bread i heal your diseases and i bless your water so we will have sufficient water sufficient food and sufficient health in the body worship the lord you shall worship the lord your god and i will bless your bread and your water and i will take sickness away from among you so we are here to worship jesus all over the world may I lift up the hands now those who are online lift up your hands and look to jesus and worship him Hallelujah hallelujah worship with Mary and Joseph and angels and saints and all heaven and all logosians around the world worship him hallelujah 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 habala rai sholo bala habara sala habala rai sholo bala habala rai sholo bala Lord, we worship you. We adore you. All the promises we fulfill. Give us, Lord, your peace. You may help us to accomplish all our work. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Keep our hands down. God enables us to accomplish all our work. That's the second part of today's promise. God does our work means God will enable us to accomplish our work and to achieve our goal. God will help us. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Let us all honor the name of Mother Mary and also respect and venerate this great name. Let us sing to the Marian hymn. As I kneel before you I Let us begin our Divine Mercy Chaplet for the fulfillment of all our intentions. And also we will receive gift of joyful uh, suffering. That is also part of our uh, healing service in this book. There are six types of healings I have mentioned. God loves and God heals. And one among the six type of healings is called gift of joyful uh, suffering. We will not be depressed when we are under suffering. We have hope in Christ Jesus. One day the Lord will touch me and turn these negatives for my favor. And we are waiting for the time of God. When that time has come, we will be delivered. But still that time, we will not be depressed. We will not be turned into atheism. We don't uh, criticize God. We will have a lot of joy in our heart until the time comes to be healed. Some people will have panic attack. Time is delayed. It is too much of delay from the side of God. Nothing happened. Then we have some kind of disturbance in the mind. But after this prayer, some of the people have not received any blessing, but the disturbance is gone. And the peace is granted. And hope is generated. And they have a lot of benefits. Until the time of their healing, they are saving the souls from purgatory. And um, they are transforming the life of the sinners. And also getting the gift of healing of the same type of problems or sickness that we have. We will be able to heal them after getting the healing. And uh, also great hope. One day the Lord will set me free. That is called the gift of joyful suffering. Job had this gift of joyful suffering. Then he was waiting and waiting and waiting for the Lord. Some of us will get gift of joyful suffering. And I hope that one day the Lord will do this miracle for me, healing for me, deliverance for me. One day this will happen. 
there are several type of people who give their testimony like that they are patiently waiting every day to be with jesus through this online ministry so many of you will get gift of joyful suffering joyful bearing of that cross with jesus having a great hope and faith that one day the lord will set me free then three blessings also will be added to it we will be able to transform some sinners in our family or in our friendship some souls will be saved from the purgatory and also we will be purified and above all we will get a charism to heal the people who have the same type of problems or sickness it's wonderful it is that is revealed in our catechism book 1505 1505 redemptive time period of our suffering and the healing so there is a gap in this gap time or this duration do not be anxious or depressed hallelujah hallelujah what are the two enemies troubling us most two elements troubling us most one is sickness in the body second one death in the life some people have a only cough and cold thinking that i am going to die tomorrow evening and they declare their death also tomorrow evening onwards you will not see me i will be in the coffin and they have repeated it more than 100 times but nothing happened that is called some kind of fear uh, provoking them to do it the lord says the last enemy in our life is death first corinthians 15 26 fear not even at the death the last enemy all of you repeat the last enemy the last, the last enemy, enemy to be destroyed to be destroyed is death is death how many of you have fear of death don't lift up your hand that will make others fear oh my god this person has fear of death may we going to do something jesus is risen conquered death and he did it at the, the tomb of lazarus at the house of talita and on the street of nain jesus conquered death so with jesus we have no fear to walk through the valley of death psalm 23 4 i am not frightened to walk through the valley of death with jesus without jesus surely it will frighten me the valley of death darkest valley and also the valley of death i will not have fear if i am with jesus so be with jesus always have a close relationship with jesus these enemies sickness one side fear of death another side that will disappear because he will he is there to help us jesus is there to help us Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. So Luke chapter 7:13 One woman was terribly frightened having the death of her son. Providentially she met Jesus before the burial. And Jesus said, "Woman, cry not, weep not." Jesus, I have enough reason to weep. My only son died. My husband died some years ago. two tragedies and death happened in the family i have enough reason to cry but jesus said no reason to cry now as long as i am alive who is alive jesus, jesus. verse 14 jesus touched the dead body it has come up because of jesus nobody run away from the place suppose this happened on the funeral journey it happened how many of you will remain there i don't know and if that young man asking everyone i am alive many of you will become dead so they have that uh, fear of death has already gone from the city of nain the whole city was delivered from the fear of death hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus mark 5 43 talita kum 
that is in the house this is in the street so jesus said talitha kum mark 5 43 that little girl came out and she looking around jesus said give her little food to eat she is hungry because she died yesterday didn't eat anything hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise, praise you jesus and jesus strictly given the order no one should know about it and but something to give eat so this happened in the house the dead body dead girl came back to life what jesus said 41 541 talitakum little girl get up thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise and you touched jesus. her hand talita kum so talita is being here restored to life what is the last enemy in our life to be conquered death he did it john 1144 lazarus come out lazarus came out he came out the dead man came out his hands and legs were bound and tied so deliverance is our ministry resurrection is the ministry of jesus untying the person is our ministry we have to untie the people so deliverance is going to happen in this hour healings are going to happen is all because of jesus and also gift of joyful suffering until the time of our deliverance and healing we will have lot of hope and three benefits also in it that also i have mentioned in this book god loves and god heals please have it and three categories of people may not be healed immediately page 106 in this book matthew 8 17 he took our infirmities he took our sins he took our diseases prophet isaiah said he took our infirmities and bore our diseases in this aspect you fear not the sickness one day jesus will take it into his body from your body he conquered the sickness matthew 8:17 he will bear it into his body he conquered sickness Matthew 28:6 he is not here he is risen he conquered death and the last enemy that we have to conquer that is death he did that also 1 Corinthians 15:26 in the name of Jesus i bless by this wooden cross all your intentions let the lord give you peace as he promised today Isaiah 26:12 I will give you peace. I will help you to fulfill your responsibilities and achieve your goal. Amen. Amen. For the fulfillment of all our intentions, let us pray together the divine mercy chaplet. You aspired Jesus, Jesus but, but the, the source of life, life dashed for, for the souls and the ocean of mercy, mercy opened up for the whole world, world of found of life and unfathomable divine mercy, mercy envelop the whole world. world. and empty yourself out of our us o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fountain of mercy for us i trust in you our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord He was, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. 
from, from there, there he will come, come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Lifting up our hands, let us consecrate our families to Jesus and finances also. Let us consecrate our children, let them be spirit-filled. And uh, let them be anointed. Let them settle their life at the right time. Let there be grandchildren in the families. People who have no house of their own, let them have a house with a garden around it. Jeremiah 29, 5 and 6. Those who have no children, Psalm 113, verse 9. Let the Lord make the childless woman as a mother of happy mother of many children let that promise be fulfilled let there be safe confinement and safe delivery for all those who are pregnant let our children be spirit filled and become like a stars in the heaven Eternal Father, I, I offer, offer you the body and blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Keep our hands down, confidently pray. The Lord will enable us to earn enough wealth. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. The Lord will enable you to earn to collect what that you are in need, give you the power to get wealth. So all your issues are going to be solved. The first decade we pray for family finances. Second decade we pray for transformation of seven enemies, seven enemies of the humanity. Third decade we pray for healing of our inner wounds and struggle and hopelessness. We have to come out of it. Fourth decade we pray for physical healings. Fifth record, we pray for anointing of the Holy Spirit. That means life must be guided by Holy Spirit. That is anointing. And every day we have to grow in this guidance of the Holy Spirit. That is called the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So let us have fellowship with the Holy Spirit and relationship with Jesus. When we have a relationship with Jesus, rest of the things are all free gift. Freely that will be given, including fellowship with Holy Spirit and anointing. That is also free gift. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Keep on lifting up our hands and sing together and glorify the name of Jesus in our family and with our substance. Proverb 3.9 With our substance we have to glorify the Lord. With our wealth we have to glorify the Lord. Lord, you are our joy and comfort. 